Theory, prediction, experiment. That's science, right? And this is the story of Eddington, Eddington's eclipse. Uh, so to set the scene for you, it's May 1919 on the uh, West African island of Principe. And uh, there's an air of anticipation, because on this day, the moon will pass between the Earth and the sun and uh, form one of nature's greatest spectacles, a total solar eclipse. And uh, on this island, at the top of a hill, stands a young English scientist called Arthur Eddington, who has uh, travelled to this spot on this day to stand here with his telescope and make measurements that will test a, a new theory that promises to revolutionise physics. And that's Einstein's general theory of relativity. Now, trust me when I tell you that you do not want to know the details of this. The maths is horrible. I've been there, trust me. Um, but it does make one uh, crucial prediction. Uh, Einstein's theory says that gravity is due to when massive objects distort space around them. And that's what leads to gravity. So in the grand uh, tradition of dodgy analogies, uh, picture a massive mattress, a big, thick mattress. And uh, I did, did think about putting a, a, a yo mama joke in here, but um, let's just stick with a, a bowling ball for this purpose. Um, put the bowling ball in the middle of the mattress, produces a big dent, right? Now you take a marble and you uh, roll that marble across the mattress. When it passes close to that bowling ball, it goes into that dent and it curves round. Now, picture a, a sky full of stars and imagine putting a massive object in the way, say the sun. And now, that light, as it travels from the star to your eye, when it passes close to the sun, it goes through that space which has been distorted by the sun, and it's going to curve round. And as we stand on the Earth, that looks to us as if the stars have moved. So if we compare a photo of the stars without the sun there, and a photo of the stars with the sun there, we're going to see that the stars close to the sun have moved. Now, Obviously, the problem with this is you normally can't see stars that are close to the sun, right? That's daytime. But, crucially, in a solar eclipse, you can. And that has, is what has brought Arthur Eddington to this island. And so, the path of true science never does run smooth. And, uh, uh, unfortunately, being a true Englishman, he's brought the weather with him. And, uh, but, fortunately, the clouds do clear. And, uh, to cut a long story short, and you'll have to ask me later for the details, I'm afraid, he does get the data he needs. And he comes back to the UK and he performs his analyses um, with other members of his team. And, uh, and so, only one year after the end of the World War I, at a meeting of uh, the Royal Society in November of 1919, um, a team of English scientists stand up and, and, uh, support and become the first people to say, Einstein is right. And I ran out of time. <laughs>